Well, what is going on folks and welcome back to another episode of tourney season today we are back on the st lawrence river for the last day of practice before the bassmaster regional starts up here in new york and uh i thought that i would skip all the b-roll skip all the craziness and just film the real day now actually i always film the real day but film like the uncut raw real day gotta turn the electronics on gotta put the plug in because that's important start the engine there we go Perfect. Now, if you're curious what tourney season is, it is my series that I produce here on the channel that is kind of the documentation of what it's like in as, as real of a picture as I can put it on how college fishing works. And so we are here on the last college fishing tournament of my career, besides the championship, of course, if we make the championship. But I'm out here with my partner, Garrison. He's right up there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a blast today. If you missed any of the previous episodes, click up here in this corner. They will be linked over there for you guys to check out. And yeah, it's, uh, it's giving me a good time. We'll see you guys when we uh, first actually subscribe. <laughs> We've got to idle out to the bay before we can get started. New York has a 600 feet past shore idle rule right now because the river's so high. But uh, with that said, subscribe to the channel and we'll see y'all when we catch fish. So our first spot we stopped at is a little current break here off the main river channel in Canada. And we stopped on an island that I, I marked a four pounder on the first day of practice and fish was no longer there. So we'll go back and check in the afternoon as well. But I think today is gonna be trying to find a few current breaks, finding a few more bed fish, and then, you know, checking on our bed fish to see if they are still there. Cause they're definitely still catchable. All small mouth are catchable on a bed, no matter how many times. Which is kind of a bummer that we're having this tournament during the spawn, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna bed fish. Gotta win this tournament, so. How it be, see, I, just, I have a feeling that you know pretty quick if there's smallmouth there, you know? Now there's two current breaks. You caught one real quick and I caught one real quick. Here, fishy fishy. This is frustrating because I feel like we're fishing like stuff that has fish on it. But we thank you for this day, God, and how beautiful you made this place. Help us to enjoy it, even in the stress. That was, that was not a fish. That was a rock. <laughs> it didn't move. Oh, wait, it was a fish. Holy crap. One was just following me. That was a big fish. That was, yeah. Wow. I thought it was a rock. I was like dead sure that was a rock. Was, oh, a five pounder just followed you. Really? Yep, five pounder was just right there. There he is sitting there, right there. He's literally swimming. See him right down there? See him? There he is. Oh, you missed him. He went left. Yeah, dude, there's fish here. Definitely our fish here. I have hooked not a bass, but I think it's a tiger muskie or it's a pike. It's one of the two. But I, yeah, I would really love my uh, my spy bait back. So we're just gonna get you in the boat, buddy. I think it's just a pike. Yeah, it's just a pike. Nice size pike, but. Got him, please? Nope. All right. That's a pretty big pike. Good lord. Look out, look out. Good old pike. I'm gonna need my pliers, that's for sure. Hey, you caught a fish, though. That's good. Fish here. Yeah, there's fish here. Not necessarily the kind that I want, but. Oh, gosh, no. No, stop it. Oh, he got off. He got off! <laughs> Hello, my friend. Thank you, for, I'll croak back at you too. No, nope. see you, bud. It's not the kind you want, right there. No, nope. see you, bud. That thing smells, dude. Yes, they are stinky. All right, now it's time to get my spy bait out of this net. Yuck. Let's go. Let's get out of this place. Ain't no bass in this place, no. Just a bunch of slimy old pike. Nobody likes. And the names are Walter Cronkite. And they love to eat Vegemite. What is Vegemite? You never heard of Vegemite? No. Vegemite is an Australian spread, similar to Spam. Ew. And it is absolutely nasty. 
I can't tell you by experience, but I've just all the friends that have had that went to Australia are like people love Vegemite over there. And it's nasty. Some veg is disgusting. We just look for more beds. I say we just look for more beds. Live and die by it. So once again, like last video, we are just trolling around looking for beds. I think in order to compete in this tournament, we're gonna have to have a lot of fish over four and five pounds, um, which a lot of guys are also gonna have a ton that are this big, but I think we just gotta have more, more options and more choices because everybody's gonna be bed fishing. And so we need a lot of them, but we've found more today than we in, in the same areas that we found them yesterday and we didn't see them yesterday. So there's fish moving up like crazy. They are all over the place. And yeah, I apologize for the lack of fish catches, but that is how this practice is going. But I promise you guys, the tournament is not going to have any lack of fish catches whatsoever. Okay, that's what I was thinking, because dude, I've tried every current break down here, and we caught like two four-pounders. That's what we thought today. Okay, good. Well, we got, we got nothing up there, so we're stuck down here. All right, well, we made the decision that since there's so many guys bed fishing up here and they caught some fish, Nolan and Casey, that's uh, some buddies of ours who are absolute hammers out here. I'm sure they're gonna watch this video. You guys are hammers. We're gonna head back down and we'll see you back by the ramp. All right, I'm about ready to go. Ooh, we're back. What a day. What a day it was. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh my God. I was trying to film. Don't you know not to drive a boat and film? No. You gotta bump the stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I nailed that dog. I was trying to get the cool shot while driving at the same time and uh, that didn't work. That's what the old Skeeter's made for. Bumping dogs. All right, go for it. There goes Cooley. Lots of boats out here, that's for sure. And we are all doing the same thing. And that thing that everybody is doing is bed fishing. And you know, I'm sure I've explained it a decent amount of times throughout this video, but that's really what these fish are doing right now. I know there's a few fish on current breaks and that kind of stuff a little bit farther up, uh, up the lake, but, or up the river, I should say, not necessarily a lake. But the majority of these fish are on beds. And you know what, I would be lying a little bit if I didn't say that I was a tiny bit bummed about the situation because sure, there's gonna be some giant bass caught. We're probably gonna catch a few five pound smallmouth tomorrow, if not bigger, depending on how big the fish are that we marked. Um, so big fish are gonna be caught. It's gonna be a good time had by all, but it's just a stressful situation when everybody is doing the same thing, marking the same fish. And then as we talk to you guys in practice, Everybody is, is catching their fish, weighing them, and putting them back on the bed because smallmouth bite that many times. And I'm not trying to say that some acts are more immoral than others when it comes to fishing, but when I'm bed fishing, I never catch a fish twice. And so it just, it, it hurts me a little bit. I'm not, you know, crazy environmentalist, but it hurts me a little bit just to know that like all these giant smallmouth, four to six pounders, even plus, are being caught multiple times by multiple anglers and we're gonna be drug all across the river. So I do wish that it was either a pre-spawn tournament or a summertime tournament, but that's the cards that were dealt. That's what we have to deal with. And so I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna fish like I would fish and, uh, and that's bed fishing. And so I, I find that I'm, I'm very good at bed fishing. And I think that the way that we found our beds was different and faster than everybody else. So I think we have a decent amount of stuff. Uh, but the gear that I will probably be using mostly tomorrow, let me pick it up here is these two combos right here. The first of which being my Nedrig combo is actually the same as my drop shot combo, uh, just because the small little Nedrig head here, but we have just the classic Z-Man uh, Nedrig with some 15 pound Seaguar Smackdown braid to a, uh, I think it's eight pound Seaguar Tatsu leader uh, with the custom speed spin 300 size. And then we have the custom inshore 300 size, basically the same exact reel, but with a different bearing uh, and different seals to kind of protect it from salt water. So that's the custom inshore 300 with a little outcast tackle brown hair jig. It looks really, really whippy right now because it was on the road. Uh, it doesn't look like that in the water though. 
but with that one on the hair jig rod that I've talked about for weeks now and that is the uh, the Team Lou's custom speed spin 7.6 medium so those are kind of be my two main combos tomorrow now we are bed fishing and so of course it doesn't really matter what you throw down there because they're going to eat most things but I found that for these smallmouth this time of the year these two are kind of my, my main stays for catching smallmouth off beds a hair jig and a ned rig I have caught a few on a drop shot but I just found that doesn't get them as good as the hair jig and the Nedrig do. And then I'm also going to have a Kitek tied on as well, a tiny little Kitek to uh, easily fit in their mouth. And so that's going to be the game plan. We're going to eat some lunch. I've got some lunch meat here and some Doritos and some sweet tea. I do miss the sweet tea in the South though. That's for sure. Some homemade sweet tea. Mm. Delicious. And with that said, we'll see you all on the road for the tournament meeting. We have made it to Clarkson University. It's a little school up here in New York, Potsdam, New York, more specifically, and they are hosting this tournament. So we gotta walk inside, get all finally registered. I didn't get into like I have a fishing license, but they didn't give me like a copy of it. So hopefully they accepted the number the guy gave me for my my uh, what's it called like confirmation number. We're gonna catch some biggins tomorrow. We're gonna catch some biggins. We're gonna catch some biggins tomorrow. tomorrow. And you guys both down that way. All right. <laughs> what kind of, what kind of Medium. Right here. We figured out my, I was the one with the transducer that was all messed up. Couldn't figure it out, so we just slapped a new transducer on the bottom and it works just fine. So. Oh, we got some free baits? Yes, sir. Oh, well, let's go. A pack of baits and a $10 gift card. A $10 gift card over there? Yes, Woo! Free gift card. And a free champion. Nope. I can never remember what we're supposed to do with this paperwork, to be honest. Sign it? Yeah, you, yeah, you sign it. But we've been sitting here for like 30 minutes. I was answering some comments on the YouTubes and now we are walking. Wrong way, gotta go down. We are walking to register now the meeting. That thing. It's so cold in here. The water's changed. So the water's on the back of this sheet is not correct. The waters that you got emailed to you are correct. And then there'll be free food for you. So again, thanks to Clarkson University for that. So. Free food! All right, let's like go free through. Food. Well, our boat number came in, and we are boat number 129 out of 150, so. Ooh. You know what, it's not what we wanted, because I guarantee you 80 of those boats probably found the same bed fish that we did, if not more. And so, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. And so, we think that we found some bed fish that nobody else found. Also, my microphone is kind of poking in. We think we found bed fish that no one else found, but it's possible that people found them and just didn't check them today. So. We are going to uh, give it our all tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see you guys back at the house to finish the video. Ah, well, that is gonna do it for practice here at the St. Lawrence. I'm gonna sit down on the edge of the boat here and just kind of talk about how I'm feeling. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good about catching big fish. I think the tournament videos are gonna be fun. I'm gonna film some awesome B-roll in the morning. Uh, there's definitely gonna be some big fish caught. There's gonna be a lot of drama. It's gonna be some crazy awesome tournament videos. So if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and you haven't seen all the tournament series is about, this practice has been, if I'm being honest, a little bit boring in terms of fish catching content, but I promise you guys the tournament is gonna be insane. There's gonna be so many big fish caught and I can't wait to document all of it for you guys. But I love having you guys along this journey with me as I explore the nation's lakes and rivers and especially this gorgeous river that we're on this week. And so tune in next time for St. Lawrence River, episode one, tourney season. See y'all next time.